Hey, Daniel. Thank you so much. Hopefully the roads are clear enough to get to your Christmas gatherings this weekend. To spice, to spice things up once you're finally there and safe, our cocktail expert Mike Stone is here joining us with a few tasty recipes. <clears throat> Thank you for coming in. It was quite a surprise when our executive producer came in the studio and said, hey, Mike is here today. Hey, so I, we're gonna I spice slayed the, in. Yeah, we appreciate you coming in. So <laughs> yeah. what do we have here? We have two drinks. One, Santa's last stop. Yes, yeah, I uh, figured, obviously, Santa's eating a lot of cookies. Right. And he deserves a nice, uh, comfortable, uh, relaxing uh, cocktail at the end of that uh, okay. long journey. So I based it off of a... Uh, a Christmas cookie. Okay. Um, so got, a, got two martini glasses yeah, here. Yep. You can serve so, these in martini glasses. Yeah, yeah. Nice, classy, um, very tasteful, and especially honing into that whole flavor of the Christmas cookie. So how do we make this? Yeah. So end up taking uh, some original vodka. Jep de Crete. Yep, yep. Jep de Crete original vodka. Pouring a couple pours in there because it's a martini, so it's heavily boozy. You don't hear the music, but we have a little Christmas music oh, playing okay. while you're making this. Yeah. So adding a little amaretto. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That yeah. smells really good. Yeah. And then, uh, and you got two options. I went with eggnog for it. Jim loves eggnog. Yeah. I like eggnog. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we, we end up putting a little eggnog in there just to, uh, you could use milk and some vanilla All if right. you don't have eggnog. Eggnog will make it taste a little better yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. We got about a minute and yep. a half to go. So yep. let's... And then add in some low powder sugar. Okay. Shake it up, and there you have and there's it. your drink. And beforehand, you could rim the glass with some icing and some sprinkles. That is yeah. pretty cool. You're using icing and sprinkles yeah. for that. Yeah. All right, and let's the, go to the next one. All jingle. No rocks. No rocks. Yeah. yeah. Pretty Got cool. to play on the song with yeah. the name. Uh, using our red, white, and blue bourbon from Jep de Creed. Uh, and then... Uh, some cranberries. Yeah, got you got cranberry, cranberry and rosemary syrup, simple syrup. Okay. Adding that into it so you can get that holiday flavor with it some sweet vermouth, and then some lemon juice. And again, all shaking up and straining, so all jingle, no rocks. Two totally different tastes here. Yes, yes, yeah, totally uh, going for more of the, for people who are more in your vodka, clear spirits, and then more of your aged spirits from the bourbon. I'm trying to think, which one should I taste? I do have to drive home because work put me up in the hotel. The one on the left, do you think, Ross? Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, this is really good. Oh, yeah. I'll yeah. drink all of this before yeah. I leave today. And get the rosemary and get that nice... Jim, flavor. you want the eggnog one. You're done with this your last a... forecast before vacation. Yeah. I'll save it for so you. Jim's last stop. Where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> Jim is literally about to leave for a holiday. He, he could get mine, too, if he's doing <laughs> windows. <laughs> Mike Stone, thank you so much for yes, coming yeah, on. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Good yes, to see happy you, holiday, to you and Merry your family. Christmas to all. Uh, Ange, uh, I would say I would share with you, but you yeah. took a little oath with your family. I did. Brock's actually watching right now. Hi, Brock. Yeah. Hi, Brock. Uh, this is for Jim, but he has he went to go warm up his car. I yeah. have some so extra we'll, non-alcoholic. We'll save it for uh, him. Not for it. All right. Okay, thank thank you. you. I appreciate it. We're getting right back to our coverage.